art of adding cushions to a lounge can sometimes be quite difficult to perfect. So today I'm going to show you through how I choose cushions for a sofa uh, in terms of different sizes, textures and all of those sorts of things that you need to consider. So beginning with a, a blank sofa here, um, we've got our Kehlani sofa which is the back of it is already made up of quite a few cushions. I like to um, add in a few different sizes of cushions just to create different sort of heights and levels. Uh, so I'm starting with, uh, this is a 60 by 60 size cushion. It's quite a big sofa, so we can afford to have something a little bit bigger there. Uh, so we'll pop that one, I'll put that that way. And then we've got a couple of smaller cushions that we can add in different tones, colours, but keeping in a similar theme. So of that beautiful textured fabric. This one I've chosen because it does have smaller hints of green in it, a little bit of charcoal. So the green I've picked up from this cushion, the charcoal goes back with this one. And there's also some tan and caramel colours and things in there. The more cushions you have, the less room there is to sit on the sofa. So think about how it's used. If it's more of a, a formal room that you're not sitting in so much, you might have more cushions. Or if it's somewhere that you're using a lot, you might sort of take one away. Moving over to the throw, there are a couple of ways that you can deal with adding a throw. So we can keep it nice and neatly folded uh, for a more formal approach. And you can just kind of put that over the arm like that and then you would actually put your cushion over the top so that it's layered up like that. The way that I like to do it is a little bit sort of more relaxed. So what you would do is you open up your throw. So it's completely opened up now. And then I actually grab the middle of the throw so that it sort of has this draping kind of almost diamond shape. Grab the middle and literally just throw it over. And arrange the tassels in place of where you'd like them. And then we've got another larger cushion for the end of the sofa. Again, in like those neutral sort of browner gray tones tone with the lounge and then I've added in a velvet cushion um, picking up on those caramel tones so with the velvet it's nice to add a little bit of a, a shimmer in comparison to the the woven look just to have that uh, addition or additional texture in there and that's a smaller cushion as well so we've got that nice flow of different heights so there we have it simply styled lounge